hands together, show some appreciation for our Sunday school staff. Amen, amen. And, and now do yourself a favor and put your hands together and give God some glory. Teacher, on um, this morning, mm -hmm. uh, my wife told me that uh, I don't need no microphone. I talk too loud anyway. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Amen. Amen. Uh, what an incredible lesson, thorough lesson on Amen. this morning. Intriguing and involving lesson on this morning. Amen. 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 Revelations 2, uh, 1 through 7. Write this letter mm -hmm. to the angel of the church in Ephesus. Mm -hmm. This is the message from the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand. Mm -hmm. The one who walks among the seven gold lampstands. I, I know all the things you do. I have seen your hard work and your patience endurance. I know you don't tolerate evil people. Yeah. You have examined the claims of those who say they are apostles, but are not. You have discovered they are liars. You have patiently suffered for me without quitting. Mm -hmm. But I have this complaint against you. If you don't love me or each other as you did at first. My Lord, look how far you have fallen from your first true love. Uh, turn back to me again and work as you did at first. If you don't, I will come and remove your lapstand from its place among the churches. But there is this about you that is good. You hate the deeds of the immoral Nicolaitans, just as I do. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen to the Spirit and understand what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Mm -hmm. Everyone who is victorious will eat from the tree of life in the paradise of God. I've read to you Revelations chapter 2, verse 1 through 7. Amen. 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 The greatest power known to man is love. First Corinthians 13, Paul explains how important love is to God. If I could speak in any language in heaven or on earth but didn't love others, I only would be making meaningless noise like a loud gong or clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy and if I knew all the mysteries of the future and knew everything about everything but didn't love others, what good would I be? Mm -hmm. And if I had the gift of faith so that I could speak to a mountain and make it move, without love, I would be no good to anyone. If I gave everything I have to the poor and even sacrificed my body, I could boast about it. But if I didn't love others, mm -hmm. I, would, I would be of no value whatsoever. The Bible declares God is love. Mm -hmm. Jesus of Nazareth, God in the flesh, was and is the personification of love. God in pardoning. Mm -hmm. All that he has done, he has done for the love of you. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, how many we beseech you on this morning? Mm -hmm. Give me honor, praise, and thanks unto you, our God, our only God. God, our Father, Father, Son, God, the Holy Ghost. We hail unto you right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, how we thank you, God, for being God and God all by yourself. Ah, even as we stand in this place with healthy bodies and healthy minds. Oh, we consider where you brought us from. In the midst of a pandemic, we, our body 
Maybe some of us were sick and ill and even close to death, but 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 that when you will and the end of your cause for our life. We felt your precious love and we felt the power of your healing hand draw us out of the midst of a deadly illness. And then, Father, even in the midst of the pandemic, uh, nature laid upon this city and, and this state a, a, a heavy layer of snow that, that blocked out power. And folks were huddled in their homes without any type of energy whatsoever. Father, when we consider that type of situation, some folks died, could not uh, withstand uh, the coldness of the storm. But, but Lord, you saw them for there we would be had it not been for the grace of our God. Father, on this morning, we, we come to you recognizing that you're God and God, God all by yourself. We recognize that we cannot, we could not, we would not be able to do this thing without you. We humble ourselves before you, Lord, because you're God Almighty and God Almighty. and finisher. You are the first, the last, and the everything. We thank you right now, Father, because this day has been set aside that you would do a new thing, a thing that you had never done before. the body and the spirit of the man of God who shall come before you. Father, you allow that word to go forward with great power and majesty, pricking the hearts of the hard heart, touching the hearts of the wayward, and those that are downtrodden, those that are suffering even right now, revealing unto them that God loves them more than any sin they could ever commit. And even right now, God is willing and ready to accept them back home. Father, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We elevate our bishop unto you right now. Thank you for blessing not only the bishop, but, 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 but his precious wife and his family. Yeah. Thank you for blessing the bishop's house. Father, you went even yeah, further yeah, than the yeah. bishop because you went around and you began to touch and, and heal the hearts of sin. from the brink of death. You, you have pulled us back for this day that's been set aside that you might do a new thing. We tell you, thank you for how you best first you love to move on standing on the good. And we shall love God as our first. So, uh, now, fathers, we humble ourselves unto you. We lift up this service. Place it into your very capable hands. We ask, Lord, that allow the presence of the Holy Ghost to show up in this place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we ask and pray that the word of God moves with a new revelation of fire that it might burn in the soul in their desires. We will come to the simplicity of the Lord that I need Jesus because I'm a lost sinner. And Lord, we trust you.
please put your hands together and encourage your very own sister, Pastor Catherine.
continue to bless him. Anybody know God has been good to you? I'm always excited to be in the house of the Lord. Y'all go ahead and sit down, sit down. I, I thank God for, for being here too. Amen. Thank you because without this grace and mercy, it'd be a tough situation. Matter of fact, I'd be glad sleeping in my grave. speakers and preachers and doctors and, and, and you, you name it, it's here. Amen. And Sister Pastor McKnight, Dr. Kerrigan and Woods, and Dr. Kerrigan, amen. And then even the singers, I see some of the singers out there. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. I just thank you. Thank God for being here. Amen. To some of my friends and brothers and, and love where I where, Let me just say some of the family that came to be with us. And, so screen you, God bless you. Amen. Hey these fellas, I, I call them and they just say, okay, man. And, and that, that's a, it's a mighty good thing. You can pick up the phone and, and call somebody. Ain't that right? And they'll come. Hey Amen. My brother back there. I see some of true love gone back there. Hey Amen. We say the little gas. Amen. Amen. We just want to give you what God has given to us. It's, I, 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 it's not going to take us long. I know we say that as preachers all the time, but it's not going to take us long. Amen. I just want to share with you on, on Saturday morning, God kind of rearranged and changed what I thought I was going to be able to speak about. All right, all right. So so it, it really hit me all the way on, on Saturday. And so I, I stayed up a little while last night and, and, and I, I heard, heard Sister Monica come up the hall. You okay? I said, yeah, go on back to bed. It's all right. But we just want to give you a little something in and uh, we're going to get into the word. Amen. Can you give me a key or something? I don't know what. Go a little lower than that. Can we go old school this morning? All right. That, that'll work right there. What did you just hit? That all right, Sister Greenleaf? Y'all give the MD a hand. <laughs> Amen. So, Sister Greenleaf said it's like, just a little old song that came to my spirit. Then I'm going to jump into this song that Sister, Mac, that Sister Pastor McKnight. Amen. Introduce me singing a lot of times. And I just love the song, but this old school song, I don't even know all the words, but I know the first two, three lines of it. And it said, A stranger in the city, and it's healing. Oh, yeah.
churches. I, I kind of want to carry it a different way. So I, I want to go with this. Y'all heard the scripture that God, man looks at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. Just for a few minutes. What's behind all of this? I really had tired of it. Who's behind the mask? My God. Y'all pray with us. We just want to work it just for a minute, talk about it for a second. And, and listen, I, I found out that in, during this time, there are some people that don't know which way to turn, and, and non believers and, and, and straddle the fence want to come on in to, to God's house. And, and so they're looking and searching for some things. Amen? Now, now. They don't really see God like the believers see God. They don't really understand it like we try to understand it. And I'm saying that because that's where we come in. God has us here as a vessel for him. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. They are watching us. I just got to tell you that I, I notice when I, when I, every opportunity Dr. Woods said, I, I come to me, I, I talk to him, and, and the opportunities will present themselves if you make yourself available. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So they, they are watching, and they're not so much watching about what we say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you don't even know, but they are watching what you do. That's right, that's right, that's right. Amen. They're watching what's coming out of you. Amen, amen. What's behind all of this? All right, all right. I, I never thought I'd see a time where the wearing of a mask would become a norm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many reasons, so many occasions <laughs> uh, require wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. You know, some wear them at Halloween time. And, and I remember the True Love Church here had a masquerade ball. Yeah, and, yeah. and people had on different kinds of masks. Yeah. A mask. These arrivals even got permission to wear a mask right by now. Hey Amen. Different professional doctors, athletes require masks. I, I could even walk into a store and into a bank wearing a mask and not get carried out and be able to still walk out wearing a mask. Watch this. Truth be told, we were all wearing a mask before the pandemic arrived. God Almighty. Yeah. Did y'all hear what I said? We were all ready wearing masks before the pandemic. My reason for saying that is simply because we may look and act a certain way on the outside. Well. Amen. It doesn't mean that that's what's going on on the inside. Yes, sir. But, but I'm glad that God looks at the heart. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes. Really doesn't mean that at all. That is a show that comes on television. I, let me paint this picture. It's called The Mask Singer. Uh -huh. Some of you may have seen it. And, yeah. and, and for the most part, they are dynamic singers. Amen. And you would think it would be someone that, that you could recognize their voice. Everybody knows Gladys Knight, but they, they disguise Gladys Knight. Yeah. Yeah. And you couldn't even tell there was Gladys singing the song, Dr. Woods. Uh -huh. They would disguise them from head to toe. Yeah. You couldn't tell their weight, you couldn't tell their height. Amen. And at the end of their, 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 their performance, the judges would try to determine who they were. And this is what happened. They would always come up with two or three people that they thought it would be. Uh -huh. Amen. How do you know people are looking at you? They, they, they're looking at you. They, they, they attempt to guess who it, are, who it is. Amen. And then the show got so popular, they ended up with another show called The Mass Dancer. Amen. Amen. In this day and time, Dr. Kevin is ever so part of it. The children of God stand boldly and not be mistaken. Sister Lee Lee. Amen. It should be evident who we are. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it should be evident, not about what we say, on, but our actions should, should give a clue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just like the mass dancers, mass singers, they, they give them a few clues. Yeah, yeah. We shouldn't have to really give clues. Our lifestyle should give clues to who we are. Yeah, if, if I may pose the question, is our outer appearance deceptive depending on where we are and who we are around? I'm just asking the question. Or could it simply be that we don't want others to know who we really stand for? But I heard in the word of God, he said, you be ashamed to own me before man. I'll be ashamed to own you before God. Do we have to offer clues that we stand 
for Jesus. Can they see the Jesus in us? Amen. Do we have to walk around with a Bible under our arm 24-7? Do, do we have to send out some, some signals that we are a child of God? Can I tell you, it should be in our lifestyle. Do we have to wear a t-shirt that says, I'm a child of God? Or, or can they see behind all of this? Can they see beyond our appearance? I'm just asking a simple question. Once upon a time, watch this. You, you could have an idea uh, uh, who a person was and, and, and simply by their outer appearance. It, it wasn't that you weren't judging them or nothing, Dr. Kirby, or uh, sizing them up. You wasn't doing that or, or anything like that because that was the furthest thing from your heart. It's just that it seemed that what you saw was what it really was and what you got. Yes, sir. Anybody with me? Yeah. Today's time is brought about change. Yeah. Amen. Sad to say, but a change has come drastically. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Many are masked up. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about our safety mask. Amen. Forget about it. many. Are Hard to tell uh -huh. who or what we are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to paint this song in our government. Uh -huh. Saying and doing one thing to get in office only to become Someone else wants their sworn in. Amen. That sounds like a mad situation to me. They even have the audacity and the nerve to step up in a church or two to try and sway votes. Yeah. Amen. What's really behind the mask? Can, can I go this far? Some of them mask up in the workplace. Yeah. What are you talking about, Daniel? Well, they, they present the most impressive resume. Wow. They will interview above and beyond only to find a job, according to them, to be the worst place in the world yes, to work, yes, as if the job needed them. Yes, they were wearing a mask when they yes, walked in. Yes, My God, watch this. I hate to say it, but I got to say it. Many are masked up in the church. Mm. Uh, show, show up Sunday after Sunday, always at the church, active in the church, listen to the same, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Trying to have to be. Let me just put it like that. Let me we turn out to be some of the worst folk yeah, yeah. masked up in the church. That's a dangerous situation, isn't that right? Yeah. Yes, even in our home, men are wearing a mask, giving the impression yeah. of a happy home when in reality it's yeah, just yeah. a bed and breakfast. Yeah, yeah. No real love, no communication, no time. Yeah. Masked up in the home. Yeah, yeah. At times, being unrecognizable. Mm -hmm. Help me, I'm going to get to the description, just get to the text in just a minute. In the day's time, so many are looking the part. Somebody say makeup artist. Yeah, <laughs> Somebody, so many are acting the part. Yeah. Academy Award winner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so many are dressing the part of mm -hmm. fashion design. Come on, come on, come but who's on. really behind all of this? All right, all right. Tell us, tell us. Who's really? How, how many are actually living the part? Uh -huh. it, it seems as if I heard y'all talking about it in Sunday school. How do you approach people? With it? it seems as if our deserving gifts have to be on point at all times. Yeah. That's what happens through those situations. You have to have some discernment. Yes, the Lord will lead you and guide you how to address and how to approach any situation. He said, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. He said, lean out to your own understanding. And what would he do? And what would he do? They are ready. You want to know how, how, how to get through it? Acknowledge him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind the mask. Mm. Seems as if our discernment gifts have to be on point around the clock. Mm -hmm. With no break in sight. That's right. That's right. Sometimes you ask the question, do you see what I see? Am I here what I believe I'm here? Is this real? Come on, Come on. Oh, how important it is for children of God to not be deceptive. I'm going to tell you again. Wow. I'm painting this for y'all. If y'all don't get this, if we don't get this, a little child can get this. How a deceptional child of God makes as much sense as a baseball player wearing a football helmet. A deception of child of God makes as much sense as a policeman wearing fireman's gear. Nonsense. Mm. A deception of child of God makes as much sense as a doctor in the scrubs acting as a lawyer. It's a dangerous situation. A lawyer in the sick room trying to operate on you. A doctor in the courtroom trying to represent you. That's how dangerous it is. Mm -hmm. So if I have to take a brief survey, but not in here today, because I don't want the bishop, I don't want bishop over here to try to charge me for tearing up the church. But, but if I had to take a survey here today, so I, I would say, uh, will the real saints of God please stand up? Please stand up. And I take a little farther. I 
because of what's on the inside. Yeah. I'm yeah. almost there. Y'all pray yeah. with me. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And instead of our lives spiraling out of control, as they will on the roller coaster, it should be, it should look as if we own that train to glory. Yes, sir. As if your heart is right. Yes, sir. If what's on the inside is right. Yeah. Proverbs 3 and 5, it should look as if we're not leaning to our own understanding, but we're acknowledging him in all of our ways, trusting him with our heart, as well as allowing him to know. Let's see if your heart is right. Yeah. Remember, you. man looks at the outside, but God looks at the inside. Psalms 37 and 23, it should be evident that our steps are by the Lord. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. My, my, my. We, we shouldn't be afraid to face tomorrow. And, 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 and all fear should be gone simply because we know without a doubt that he leaves. Yeah. You know so because he leaves. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. Ah, oh, my God. My God, my God. Hey, where's John 4 and 4 say? Since it seems as if we're trying to make America, I need to tell the ex-president to make America great again because obviously we are convinced that greatly as he that lives in us yeah. and he that lives in the world. Yeah. 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 No matter regardless what we're facing, we're not just going to beat that thing. We're not just going to conquer it, but we are more than conquerors. You want to step on that thing and walk on that thing and say, in the name of Jesus, I claim the victory. In other words, if I can say it, you, it, it, I have to speak like Dr. Woods sometimes. In other words, you haven't. But I would say, in other words, you ain't seen nothing yet. And there is not more, Dr. Woods, but more to come. Glory to God. Isaiah 26 and 3 said, it should be that we're keeping our mind staying on him. And he's keeping us in perfect peace and trouble in time. John 14 and 1. Trouble really shouldn't bother us because... We believe, not should we be afraid. Mm -hmm. uh, simply because he said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Believe also. He that in me, and he'll believe also yeah. in me. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Then in John 14 and 27 said, our life should simply exemplify peace of the word of God said. For the word of God said, peace I leave with you. Yeah. Not as the word of giving. Yeah. Uh -huh. So again, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. Yeah. A few more clues and I'm going on. Why are they blessing you? Come on, come on. Why are they coming to? Listen, don't you know the world will bless you a lot of time before the children of God? Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Yes. Don't you know that? Yes. Uh, when they are blessing, when, when, when they are blessing the Lord at all times, continue to be your, it will continue to be in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, when your heart is right, that's what's happening. Things might be going on, but you continue to bless the Lord at all times. Yes. Amen. Can you say amen? Amen. Amen, amen. Well, you're not falling apart in the midst of the storm because you know who's on the ship with you. Amen. You know who's there. You know who can say, peace, be still. And then when in the midst of sickness, you are patiently waiting and pressing your way toward him because in your heart, you know that you can just touch the hill when it's gone. Amen. 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 So in chapter 17, come on, come on. I, I want to do something a little different. I want to go look past that verse. Yeah. Everybody knows the story of David and, and Goliath yes, and how the little old sheep boy mm -hmm. was able to slew the giant. Yes, sir. Amen, amen, amen. He didn't need much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did. He didn't need much. I'm going back. Y'all just go with me. Mm -hmm. Watch this. The little old slingshot and, mm -hmm. and the little old rock. We know the story. And that's what we are when we preach about that a lot. Amen. God will take a little and, and make you victorious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even before that, even before that, David, just a little old sheep boy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I, I found David was an uncle servant. Yeah. Uh -huh. Show me Daniel. Well, yeah. David had a few jobs. He, mm -hmm. he had to take the grain to the soldiers in the army. Come on. Amen. He was a servant. He was a transporter. Look at that. Yeah. Transporting goodness. Look at that. Yeah. I, 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 David had a, a few other jobs. Even when Saul was was was. The, the law was this displeased with Saul. Huh? He, what did he do, Bishop? He ran him. He, he sent David. They said, we need somebody that can calm Saul down when things get a little rough. Now, we all need that. We need something or somebody that can calm us down. And, and so he sent that, that little sheep boy again. They sent David. And David would, would play. Now, David should have been a little afraid. But, but David, mm, I don't want to get ahead of myself. He was anointed by the Lord. 
So and when you are anointed, let me tell you, 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 you got protection. Isn't that right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But, but he even said David, that was one of his jobs, Dr. Woods. And so David, 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 as we come back toward the scripture, mm -hmm. amen, in chapter 16 at the beginning, mm -hmm. the Lord said to Samuel, mm -hmm. he said, listen, mm -hmm. why are you so come afraid on, of Saul? Yeah. Mm. He, he, he knew yeah. Samuel's heart, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 but he also saw his actions. I know. I know. Why are you so afraid of Saul? And, and, and Saul was... Samuel was just, if he know Saul like I do, yes, we know the Lord knows all things. Well, well. Saul is not going to be too happy mm -hmm. uh, when things, he, he's a mean character when things yes, get rough. Yes, yes. Yeah, I can see Samuel having a word with the Lord. You know he, he's been disrespectful, he's been disobedient. Come on. Hey, man. Yeah. But the Lord told Samuel, he said, yeah, I want you yeah. to do something for me. Yeah, yeah. He said, I want you to mm -hmm. go Bethlehem. He said, I want you to talk to Jesse. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, I want you to talk to him about his boys. Mm -hmm. Samuel began to ask questions. Mm -hmm. If I head to Bethlehem, mm -hmm. Saul is going to be upset. Come on, teach this man. Saul is going to go, go, he probably will kill me. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said, how many of you know he won't ever sit you yeah, yeah, yeah. without protecting you? Oh, if the Lord tell you to go, you just might as well go. Up, I, I, yeah. So he said, and what you do, you take this horn of oil with you. Yeah. And, and, and you take a heifer with yes, you. Sir. He yeah. said, and if you get stopped on the way, you just tell them that I sent you there. Yeah. Amen yeah. for a reason. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yeah. Sound your head it out. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you know, if we're real children of God, yeah. it doesn't always look right. like the path is easy. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't always look like the road is smooth. It doesn't always look yeah. like we can get straight from point A to point B. Yeah. But it said, if, if you go, I'll go with you. Yeah. Somebody can be a witness and if you take one step, yeah. God will. Mm. I ain't yeah. going to say he'll make another. He'll take many. Yeah. Matter of fact, mm. you heard the story of a man walking in the, the Lord and the man walking on the beach and, and it got a little rough and, and, and all of a sudden there was only one step one set of footprints and, and, and he looked back and he wondered and said, what's going on? I thought you would never leave me. And, and after a while the Lord had to convince him there was some troubling times facing you. There was some weak times facing you. There was some terrible times facing you. But, but he said, in those times I had to carry you. And that's what the Lord is telling us to do. If we just keep our minds stayed on it and keep trusting, if our heart is right, somebody say, my mind's made up, my heart is right. But, 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 but Samuel went on, he was, somebody said obedient. Mm. obedient. Obedience is not always easy. Good God Almighty. You, you would like to think that if you're doing what God telling you to do, that it'll be an easy task. But sometimes it takes some pressing your way. Pressing your way. Your heart got to be right because if your heart is not right, you will turn around. But can I get one witness to say, I come too far, but where I started from, I ain't turning around, I ain't no way. You can't make me doubt. If the Lord tell me to go, I go. If he tell me to run, I, I run. If he tell me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. But whatever he tells me to do, I'll do it. But what the family went on and he reached there and watched this. Y'all know the story. I, I'm trying to get to my parents. Brother Will, I'm trying to get there. Samuel went on and they, they began to run the, the boys by him. And, 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 and Samuel had some power because they said when he went into the village, they began to tremble. Yeah. Uh, he yeah. told them, y'all come on. Get, join me. Join me. Yeah. See, the Lord attracts. Yes. If you're not attracting something, you, you better... Check what's in there. Yeah. You ought to be attracting something in your life. Amen. Yeah. Something good, but they, they were trembling and fear. But, but he said, Come on, nigga, we're going to have a sacrifice. And when they got there, they began to run the young man by. Jesse had his sons there. And, and the Lord told Samuel on the first day, No, not that one. And that's not the one I want. And, and, and he did it again. No, not that one. And he did it again. No, not that one. How I many you know you got to be sensitive to God when he's telling you to do something? You know how we get off track? Yeah, yeah. They said the person that come, he was he was nice and statue. Yeah, he was good. He looked like he was a, the main warrior. 
could, could, could turn some things up. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samuel was obedient. How we get on track is God is telling us it looked good to you. Yeah. Ah, good yeah. 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 Might even sound good to you. Yeah. Watch this. Might even be good to you. Yeah. But it's not what I got for you. Yeah. Hear the word of the Lord. Is that alright? Yeah. 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 So they went through all the songs. And Dr. Wood said, he said, here are the songs, but, but something is not complete. How many of you know God won't start the process and not complete? I, I don't care what I'm I, I'm just kidding. I don't care what you're going through. God won't start the process and not complete the process. Amen. If you allow it, he said there's got to be something else to this thing. They said, is there another? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, yeah, there's one more. That's one little one. Watch the bishop I read that. They, they said it's little, but he didn't say he's tall. And then, but he said he uh, he said he was handsome too. But he said his cheeks was red and like like looked like a little wet. Oh but, but but listen here. Here we are. Here we are. There's one more. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's not in my notes. God, the Lord told me, stop everything. Yeah. Sin for one. Yeah. God will stop yeah. and hold up. Things for your blessing. God will change the ordinary so he can be a blessing. And it's not ordinary. God said, hold up. Since for him, he showed up and immediately. How many know God knows you? He knows you immediately. God will have to guess who you are. You know why? Because he knows your heart. He told him earlier, he said, don't be deceived by the outside. He said, look at what's on the inside. When David showed up, he said, that's the one. He might not look the part. <laughs> Y'all might, not, listen, the natural eye might say he can't even act the part. The natural eye would say he was defeated before he started. Somebody said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. God said, that's the one. Yeah. You know the story of David went on to defeat Goliath. Oh, come on, come on. What was behind? The little sheep boy, his heart was right. Mm -hmm. It never said he denied the Lord. Mm -hmm. He had a yes in the spirit. But as I heard to my seat, I, I want to tell you about one, one more thing I want to ask you about. Uh -huh. What's behind mm -hmm. the name of Jesus? Oh, can I tell you, it's not a bad situation. This, this thing is known all over the place. Dr. Kevin, I heard you on one of the messages when you say, and I get it when you say, I know he's all right. Because yeah. anybody here knows he's all right? Yeah. And I'll take it a little farther. I know that he's been good. Yeah. So, so what's behind the name of Jesus? What, what's behind the name of Jesus? Can I tell you, you ought to get excited just to think about what's going Ah, there's power in the name of Jesus. So, something about the name of Jesus. Ah, ah, something about, it's real, it's real, it's real. That is powerful when you think about the name of Jesus. It is exciting when you think about the name of Jesus. And don't, don't get confused by the outside, because the outside you may see some bruises. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the outside you may see some stripes. When you look at Jesus, on the outside you may see some nail prints in his head. On the outside. But how many of you know that, that there's no failure in Jesus? What's behind the name of Jesus? When I think of his goodness. And all that is done for me. I have to give God glory. For I believe I'm not the only one that know God has been good. What's behind the name of Jesus? If I could say it just for a little while. For God. So loved his world that he gave his only son. Who is his son? His son is Jesus. And Jesus loved his soul. I understand the song. Yes, Jesus loved me. Because the Bible tells me so. When I read about Jesus and wonder what's behind the name of Jesus. 
with the name of Jesus. Now tell me a little bit. There's something about Sunday morning when Jesus got up out of the grave. Can I get a word with this? Jesus got up. Busted. Yeah. God, Lord. 
all that what we have experienced today has been a day. Amen. And we can say the Lord smile on us today. Amen. Thank you again, Dr. Daniels, for that powerful word. Thank you, First True Love God. Amen. Thank you, First True Love Mother Church. Amen. We just had a wonderful day, and I know I think First True Love South is on the Zoom also. Listen, we get ready to. Uh, amen. Take up our tithes and our offering. Those again in Zoom land, please. Uh, 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 send yours to Zell. Send yours to uh, Cash App. Uh, have Pastor call me. We'll come by and pick them up. Uh, we thank God for those who have continually uh, been faithful in their giving, faithful in their time, faithful in their talents. And I thank our singers uh, that was prepared. And amen. We just thank y'all. For me and you. Truly, we have been blessed today. Amen. And after we get through with our offering, we're going to go right into our Lord's Supper. We're going to ask Dr. Woods to be prepared to come and share with us in our Lord's Supper. Brother Mike, when you get through with that, uh, with the offering, you know, go ahead and take up the offering. Church first you know, we we do the Lord's Supper first and third Sunday. Amen. The Bible says, for as often as you do it, it's say no once we but as often as you do it, you show the fruit members of me. So we do it here on the first and third Sunday. that 
eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to themselves, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. <clears throat> Wherefore, my brethren, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man be hungry, let him eat at home, that ye may not come together into condemnation, and the rest I will set in order when I come. Amen. Father God, we thank you for your body and your blood. We thank you that you gave your life as a ransom for us on Calvary's cross, but not only that, you rose again so that we also have a propitiation with the Father at this time. So, Father, we pray that you would forgive us of our sins and thought, word, deed, everything left undone. Make us righteous and clean in your sight so that we are useful and fit for your service and ready to receive your body and your blood. This we ask in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. And as the scripture says, after this, uh, for he had took the bread and he blessed it, he broke it, and he gave it to them. He said, this is my body, which is broken for you. Take it, y'all. And after the same manner, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of my blood. Take, drink ye all of it. Amen. We bless the Lord for the Lord's supper. Amen. At this time, we'll have our announcements by our announcing clerk, Sister Janet Harris. After which, we'll turn it back over to the hands of our sister pastor. Valley Baptist 
Church, the Women's Mission Annual Team, and our very own Dr. Kathy Simon Woods will be on program and will be the speaker for this event. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that concludes and that concludes our announcements for today. Everybody, be safe and have a blessed week. Amen. 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 Let me also mention, as we get ready to uh, do the drawing on today, all previous winners from the time we began making the draw, all previous winners, their names have been excluded until we go through all of those who are continuing and fully participating. So if you've won before, we have uh, removed your name so that we might be able to continue on in the drawing. Let me just say this. I don't want to change it simply because that was the rules from the get go. The thing is, we take them out for that month. And just what happened, their name get pulled, you just get pulled. There's nothing to get that. So if that's the case, we might have just line everybody up and give everybody a call if we're going to do it like you say. But that's not how we set it up. So we're not going to change it because somebody complained about it. Okay, so for those who did not hear what Bishop just said. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Amen.
Because <laughs> every time I get to one, he's right there. And I can say just like that old mother said that night. I don't feel no waste of long. I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that the road would be Well, I don't believe he'd bring me this far and just leave me. I'm going to say it one more time. I don't feel no way Time. Sing it for me, Keith. Come to find out where I saw where I started from. Don't leave me, Jesus. Don't leave me, Jesus. 